How many times have you grown tomatoes and quickly got to the point of all that wild growth going over the top that you've been unsuccessful in controlling? Well, me too. And after years of trying to find the perfect solution and failing, I created it myself. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to create the ultimate tomato cage for under $20 in less than 20 minutes. Here's how to make the ultimate tomato cage in a few simple steps. You just need two things to make these. One livestock panel and a pair of bolt cutters that you can find at any hardware or box store. These cost me about $22 and well worth it. And go ahead and spend a few extra dollars to get the larger size. It makes cutting much easier. To start, using livestock panels that have openings that are six inches apart, count across the width so you have six squares and cut away the rest, all the way down the panel. Now, with the width of the long panel reduced to six squares, count down from one end nine squares and cut all the way across, just above the horizontal piece at the bottom of this ninth square. Next, repeat that step, starting from the top of the other end of the panel. Now you have two pieces of the same size. These are what will make up your cage support. Now for each panel, cut away the horizontal pieces between the vertical pieces on the first row up from the bottom. This leaves long spikes to anchor the panels into the soil. Next, simply place each section under a piece of straight lumber at least as long as the panel so that three squares are showing against the straight edge of the wood and bend it up towards you until you get a 90 degree angle. The final step to prepare them for the garden is to invert the panel so the spikes are facing up. Then, straighten any bent wire. This makes insertion into the garden soil and lining up with its companion section much easier. Now, it's simply a matter of inserting them into the garden bed around each plant so that when both panels are installed, they form a square cage with the plant centered in the middle. A final step to make it tidy is to secure each piece together with small cable ties. That's all there is to it. These cages are super sturdy, plenty tall enough, and just wide enough so as not to crowd the plant, but still leave ample room for other cages in the bed. At the end of the season, they can easily be stacked until the next time, and for many years after that. Considering all the years of use I'll get from each cage, the upfront cost of about $20 for each livestock panel, I think is a very good investment. <laughs> 